Up till now, we have been capturing images at a digitizer resolution of 512 pixels across by 512 pixels down. Let's increase our resolution and give us a better image. So we'll select from the pull down menu a resolution of 1024 by 1024. If I click on capture image, you'll see my image collected on the right screen, a little bit higher resolution than before. And bear in mind that the speed slows down as my resolution increases. If I go to a resolution of 2K by 2K and I capture image, now you see it's slower still. And so this can have an impact on your fluorophore if you're hitting it with too much energy. Another thing that you'll notice is that the amount of noise increases as my resolution increases. Again, to eliminate the noise, I would use line average or frame average. So let's select a line average of four, and we'll reshoot our image, averaging each line with four scans. Now you can see it's significantly slower, but look at how I've eliminated a lot of the noise from my image. So I'm getting a high resolution image, 2K by 2K, with a minimum amount of noise. You notice when we increase the resolution of the digitizer to 2K by 2K, the speed of our scan was slower, particularly when we use line average to average out all the noise. In order to increase the speed of the capturing of the image, we can increase the speed of the processor. So we've been at 400 hertz. Let's go to 700 hertz and we'll capture an image again and we'll watch how the speed of the capture increases as a result of speeding up the digitizer. So it's a little bit faster than it was before. Remember we're doing four lines of average, but also notice something else. My image is more magnified. When I increase my speed, my zoom automatically kicks in. It's a function of the system, we can't change it. So bear that in mind, if you ever increase the speed of the digitizer, you will also increase the magnification of your image. One feature that's very useful when I'm using a specimen with a fluorophore that quenches or photo bleaches very rapidly, is I can select a narrow long window of resolution. So if I select 1024 by 512, and I go live, I now see on my resultant image a narrow window of high resolution. This makes it easy for me to reposition my image using the XY stage, and so the refresh rate is a little bit faster. I can also customize the, the size of my window. If I click stop, and I come here to the resolution tab, and I go to more, I can actually change the size of my window with these slider bars. Select OK, go to Live, and now my window is even narrower, so I can position very rapidly with my XY stage, and I can focus very accurately using the salt and pepper shaker.